Channel 12, WKRC-TV, January 15, 2005, Paul Adler, promoting York Street Show. Art now. Now a lot of artists make their mark with a distinctive style, you know, Picasso, Renoir. Sure. Through art invoked a whole genre of art. Maybe that's what one local artist is trying to do. He's going for something certainly very unique. It is unique. Yeah, <laughs> he's Dr. X. It stands for X-ray and he's with Paul. Okay, guys. Yeah, they say this is what I look like when I wake up in the morning. <laughs> is that what you look like? <laughs> Good morning to you. Good morning. How it's did great you to be here? How in the world do you get started with art that involves x-rays. I wanted to do something that was unique, you know. I thought I could go into oil painting, but then Van Gogh's done that, and you know, uh, if I went into photography, Ansel Adams, it'd be kind of hard to compete with some of those people. So I thought, let's try and find something that's unique that nobody else has done. And as I looked at x-rays, I thought, boy, that could, it's kind of like artwork. And I think if I played with them and uh, moved them around and manipulated them, I could make works of art. Now, did you have a medical background? No, I don't have a medical background at all. In fact, the less of a medical background you have, the better, because when doctors look at my x-rays, they go, well, it's upside down and backwards. You've got it all wrong uh -huh. there. And I go, no, but it looks better visually it this way. Better. Tell me about this one here. This, right. this is a skull. All right, yes. This is an x-ray of a skull, and I cut it out and I put a crackled x-ray. Back in the 30s, sometimes they didn't mm. use the right solution when they developed x-rays. Okay. So this one's all cracked and crackled, and then behind that I put a yellow gel and a blue gel, which came out with this green color here, and I call the whole thing broken dreams. And a lot mm. of people have a very strong emotional response when they look at this one. They go, oh yeah, I, I can really identify with that. So. I, I know Michelle did when she saw it first this morning. <laughs> is that right? Yeah, when, when she saw it, she said, oh, what is that? And she really wanted to know more about it. It really yeah. caught her eye. Especially the ones of skulls, I think. A lot of times people can identify with them because they think, oh my gosh, yeah, this reminds me of an emotion I had at one time or a feeling or something like that. Now, this is plugged in with the light. Your art, do That's you right. need? You yes, need you do electric. need a light box, although I have three installation pieces um, at the show that I've got at the York Street Cafe in which I have them on curtains. And that frees me up not to have the size of a light box. I can have a huge space and I put lights behind them. So you always need a light, yes, but it doesn't have to always be in a light box. It could be in another form also. Well, this is fun. I'd like to see more. Oh, yeah. You're going to be at York Street. Right. We had the opening rece uh, reception last night. We had a couple hundred people there, so it was really well attended. And it's going to run through February 21st. So the York Street Cafe is at the corner of 8th and York in Newport, Kentucky. And the first floor is a restaurant, the second floor is a nightclub, and the third floor is the art gallery, and my uh, work is up there in the third floor. If you want a cup of coffee, you can get that. Oh, a yeah. A sandwich, or and a then go upstairs. Oh, yes. Yeah, a lot yeah. of people ate there last night. Yeah. They had a record night, I think, as far as uh, the number of people eating dinner. Very nice to meet you. <laughs> All I right. appreciate your time this morning. And, Thanks and this, a lot. This is fun. Again, Paula, this is me when I wake up in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so scared. All right, thank you, Paul. Their motto is, these guys...